Hey folks, this is Iowa Ether. I'm back with some more World of Tanks. So as you see, this is Halimaki's in the TL1 LPC. <laughs> um, oh, skateboards. I forgot they were there. Anyways, so, um, seems like every time I look at this tank, I find something new on it. But, um, that's not what we're here to look at. We're here to look at the awesome gameplay. So this tier 8 game on Serene Coast. And uh, we're back in color blind mode. I don't know about you guys, but this just feels right to me. I guess it's probably because I've done this for like five years or something like this. Uh, played with it on color blind mode. So if it's not on color blind mode, it just feels wrong. But if uh, one way or the other, could you guys leave comments and I'll, we'll talk about it in the comments. But um, for now, we're just going to get on into the game. Oh, one other thing before we actually get into the gameplay. I need replays. <laughs> this is the only one uh, for this week because it's the only one I have. And I don't actually have time to record myself playing because that's not a thing that's going to be able to happen. Because uh, this weekend, while you guys are watching this, I'm in Canada. Um, I have left Thursday night and I'll be back Sunday night, maybe, or Monday, we'll see. And, um, so, yeah, there isn't time to record another one, so, unfortunately, this is the only one you guys are going to get this weekend. Uh, but please send me games! So, you know, there's always events going on. There's, it's a great long weekend. Send me games. I'm, I'm assuming there's something good going on this weekend, because I don't actually know. But, send me games! Something good happened to you this weekend. Send me. Show me. Okay? That's what I need. Okay, cool. Back to the gameplay. As the 1357 I have this, looks like it's going to burn to death. Um, that's why you bring a fire extinguisher. He doesn't burn to death, but it, it's not by a lot. <laughs> Another couple of ticks, and he would have burned to death. Alpine Tiger way over there is in position to do nothing against us. But then again, we're not in much position against him either. And he's got a T20 with him. Yep, a T20 with him. T20 is a lot softer of a target, so if we can get a beat on T20, we can definitely do some damage to it. The, um, the Tiger, though, is going to be a little different. We're, we're not going to be able to do anything that thing, unless we can see, see a soft underbelly shot. Um, as long as we're just going to keep firing at turret, unless we're going to fire some heat, more than likely we're just going to be bouncing off and, you know, just frustrating ourselves for no good reason. Meanwhile, the entire the entirety of the battle seems to be happening on the other side of the map. So, there only being a couple tanks here. Uh, if we had some teammates, we could push through. We have a couple, but that's, it, you know. Three versus two is not really an overwhelming force. It's hard to do something with that. But seeing as nobody is paying attention, Halmak pushes all the way up, and now he can do something. It's right in the Scorpion G's face, which we didn't know was here until a second ago. That's okay, because we can put shells through that thing whenever we decide we want to. As long as his gun isn't facing us, it's a free shell, more or less. T20 in the back. Most of his gun mantle in order to bounce like that. Uh, any other part of that tank, it will just go straight through. There we go. Able to hit the nice, softer part of the uh, the Alpine Tiger there. Oh, yeah, nice shot into the tracks. Tracking the T20 up on the hill. So hopefully one of the guys behind us can finish him off. Nope. Looks like we're probably going to do that ourselves. Well, close enough, right? <laughs> and now the poor tiger is in a bad spot. We can see his cabalas. He can't see ours. And uh, as long as he's going to keep backing up at an angle like that, we we got this. AT7 behind them and the SC-130, though, are going to be a bit more of an issue. If we, uh, we give them anything to shoot at, they're going to put shells into us. And that AT-7 is going to be a little bit annoying to take down. Um, if we can trap him in the open, though, it'll be a lot easier. Because we could circle him and uh, make him either, you know, choose whether he wants to face our allies or face us. And that is pretty much how you're going to want to take care of the AT-7 over there. Or you can just snipe at the pool when he doesn't realize he's, he can get hit. Yeah, that'll work, too. I don't know why he was sitting still for that, but apparently he was, so there we go. 
See if, if if you're not careful, it's not the easiest shot. But I mean, if they're just gonna sit in the open, we're just gonna shoot them, right? Uh, I don't know if that shell was. I think I feel like that last shell was aimed at the AT7, but missed and <laughs> hit the SU anyway, for which we are eternally grateful because, of course, shooting through the AT7 when you're shooting blind is a bit annoying. Tiger's about to die here when the T20 rounds the corner on him. Nope, we're gonna do it. No, no, mind. <laughs> CDC from from over there is actually gonna do it. He's flanking us. I don't wonder how long he's been with us. I just noticed him now. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> we seem to have a little bit of a trouble keeping our guys healthy, and so we currently don't have a second loader, or sorry, a loader at all, um, as we're pushing around this corner. So it's gonna mean a little bit longer go times, but that's fine. Looks like our team has won the other side of the map, and so we're just gonna be able to, ah, ah you bounce. Push on through. Unfortunately, it being in Pajetto means, uh, of course, it reloads a little faster than we were necessarily expecting. I think he was rocking back, expecting it to take a little longer to reload, and uh, instead, all it did was put him in a decent position to get shot again. I, I mean, as it turns out, it works out perfectly fine because, well, we get the kill, and there's only a couple enemies left before the end. One's over there, and the second is Corsair SP right here. He gets a kill on the T20, who's been helping us all game. Nice shot into him, unfortunately. Just tracks him, but, I mean, that is still a ton of tracking damage. That is the end of the game, though, and we're going to jump over to the uh, battle reports to see how he did. Again, send me replays, and thank you, thank you, thank you, and I'll see you guys later. I should show you better replays, though, before I actually sign off. Ace Tanker, he also gets the spotter, Hand of God, Duos, Fire for Effect, and Shellproof Awards, 28 bonds, and uh, good gourd, that's a lot of money. <laughs> Confederate Steel Wall and High Caliber Awards help out quite a bit as well. Yeah, yeah I think he earned that, don't you? 28 bonds, good lord, that's a lot. Um, I'm just wait. He terrorized like half the enemy team. Um, well done, sir. Actually, only two kills. But, I mean, the fact is he helped out and just pinned down so many other members of the enemy team. That, yeah, he just 4,000 damage done himself. And then another almost 2,000 done through spotting. That's, that's what earned him. 1440 uh, for experience. Well done. Even though he was like... Well behind the eight ball as far as kills goes. He, uh, he definitely earned it. 165,000 credits he walks away with. Because he was really very careful about what he spent. Except for the cola. Everything else didn't cost him that much. He didn't get that injured in this battle. This was one of those knockdown dragons win by the skin of my teeth with the last shell in my gun kind of games. But it was still a really, really good one. So thank you all for watching. Please send me more games. And um, if you want to catch more of me in the meantime, head over to my Twitch channel. And uh, I, I stream that a bunch. I just can't necessarily get that over to YouTube. Though I am seeing about seeing, uh, if I can figure out a way that that can work. It hasn't worked yet. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Have a great day this IOE throughout.